Good evening, everyone. Time for Bitcoin Volume 2. I am moving my Bitcoin videos over to my Conspiracy Nation channel, so I'm going to announce on my next Silver Update that that's where you can find them. The reason why is a lot in the Silver community are not really interested in Bitcoin. I've The more I've investigated it, the more I think it's a fantastic idea, so... But not to offend the Silver people, I'm going to put these Bitcoin updates on the Conspiracy Nation channel. So let's jump back into the Bitcoin and I'm going to have to limit these to below 15 minutes because my channel account on Conspir Conspiracy Nation is too small at this point and I can't go above 15 minutes. So until that channel grows, I won't be able to do that. So let's jump back into Bitcoin real quick. I'm going to share with you what I've learned on my second day of investigating Bitcoin. So, first thing we want to do is get the Sierra chart feed started again, which is the live feed over to Mt. Gox and the current price is trading. Then we can fire up the Sierra chart software and it's going to run here. And we want to open intraday chart and Mt. Gox and there's our Bitcoin prices so we want to do F5 and set it to candlesticks and then F6 and we'll set it to volume and actually I forgot F5 we want to put in all the days so and we'll get our chart so let's do the daily now a lot of the critics of Bitcoin has said that it's a Ponzi scheme and it's gonna crash well the, there's just so much to say first of all it can't be a Ponzi scheme in fact it's the polar opposite of a Ponzi scheme because the number of bitcoins is limited so you're not paying off early investors with the money from later investors there's no investors at all it's uh, well it just wearies me it has nothing to do with a Ponzi scheme but anyway if we look at the chart you can see let's go to our interday period with 30 minutes now that doesn't take us far enough out so we'll do chart interday period with the four hours and you can see we're falling now we had a nice low of about 16 on the Bitcoin today we had a high of about 25 so I really wish my uh, Mt. Gox account was funded at this point because I could have bought at 10 sold at 25 bought again at 16 so it's a crazy wild market but you can see that the Bitcoin prices have recovered significantly so a lot of people said, well, anything that crashes from 32 down to 12 or 10 is, you know, that's a Ponzi scheme. Well, no, that's just a real crazy wild ride. And I want to scroll back and show you. I showed you yesterday, but I just want to remind you that we've seen these th sorts of things before. The most extreme one we saw was the one that happened back around 50 cents so I'm going to show you that this one here is a pretty extreme one here we go from four bucks down to two two something so that's almost a 50 percent correction but the one that we had back around 50 cents let's get back there I don't know why it's taking so long to scroll. It doesn't usually take this long. I guess it's because I'm in the daily. I didn't realize that. I should have been in the weekly. Anyway, this was this was one of them. I think this was the one. And we're just looking in percentage terms of these. So let's go out farther and get to the daily because that's just not doing it so actually then, then that pulls it up so you can see the bottom here that we had or the price we ran from was roughly 10 cents we ran all the way to 50 cents 
and then we had a crash all the way down to 12 cents. So percentage-wise, this is actually a much greater crash than we already had. So you have to realize that on a percentage basis, you just have to recognize that the volume is coming in, the percentages are still not that large compared to historically. So the way I see this, this market is still trending higher. You can see that the base it put in, I don't have the ability to draw the trend lines on this, but the base it put in was right at the top of the last spike. So obviously, uh, I don't know why all the bashers are bashing Bitcoin. I really honestly can't tell you why, but I don't really have, I think they have a, a leg to stand on, but I don't know what their motivation is. Anyway, so I want to pull up my Bitcoin account. And I wanted to thank DaVinci and another one of my viewers who sent me some Bitcoins. And I was going to go into Bitcoin mining on this episode, but I don't think I'm going to have time. So I wanted to jump over to my channel and then I'll, any time that I have left, I will go into that. I'll just continue it next time. So. On my channel, I've put, this is the silver channel, I've put under About Me an address for Bitcoin donation because I've decided to, I've had a number of people on my silver channel request that I take donations. They'd like to donate to me, but I'm somewhat reluctant to accept money donations because of tax consequences and just a lot of other things. I've been uncomfortable with that. I, I've been comfortable with doing some ads and I'm not a full partner yet, but I have been offered to monetize. So I've been comfortable with that, but I'm not comfortable with taking cash donations from people. But Bitcoin is not the same as cash. I don't have a problem with taking Bitcoin donations. So I've put an address here that is one that you can use if you have bitcoins you can send donations to support my channel at that address and i recognize a lot of people don't have bitcoins and they don't have accounts set up so they don't have the ability to do that but if you don't have the ability to do that i've set up a link that uses bitcoin plus and when you click on the link what it does is it uses your CPU to generate bitcoins for my account. So you can see that now again this is not GPU this is CPU so it's not the most efficient of course but it's an ability to donate if you like the channel you can, if you're not doing anything with your computer, basically you're donating your electricity, but uh, part of your electric bill, not a lot, especially if you leave your computer on all the time, it's negligible, because the GPU is a tremendous drain. You, you hear my fan, it kicked up just a little bit, because this is CPU mining, so, and there it goes a little bit more. So that's a way you can donate to my channel without having to send money and without having me to deal with money is in Bitcoin. So I think it's a great idea. It doesn't generate a lot, but if a lot of people did it, it would generate something. So I've provided those links on my channel and you can use those. So again, I'm going to put the rest of my Bitcoin videos on my conspiracy nation channel rather than my silver channel because of the hostile tendencies that many people in the silver community have towards Bitcoin so I don't want to alienate the silver bugs and I want to just keep covering silver on my silver channel but I think there's a lot of aspects of Bitcoin 
that are really fantastic and I don't think a lot of people have thought it through so back to the price I think that the price we're trading at now after especially after the run-up you'll note that the run-up began roughly on the 5th of June and it went from about 10 to 30 and then crashed now this crash coincided very closely with the Chucky e. Schumer and company letter to Eric Holder to have them investigate Bitcoin because of the Silk Road issue which is in my opinion just plain stupid because basically you have this site and I haven't investigated that yet because I'm not really interested in purchasing illegal items online but apparently this website Silk Road allows you to buy illegal items or drugs or whatever but again this really has nothing to do with Bitcoin and it's not anonymous if you buy drugs you've got to pick up your drugs so that's not anonymous now if you buy drugs with cash I guess that's as anonymous as you can get but you're still driving there and picking up your drugs would be the same thing someone sending you drugs through the mail so that's not anonymous and it really doesn't have anything to do with Bitcoin except for the fact that Silk Road is accepting Bitcoin so I think most of the online community recognizes that this attack against bitcoins the fact that some site is using them to transact drugs is about as legitimate as attacking the dollar bill because people use it to for drug transactions which by the way apparently if you check almost every doll a uh, hundred dollar bill that you see there are trace amounts of cocaine on it so you know what does that have to do with Bitcoin nothing it's a currency and if you have a currency then people are going to use it to commit illegal acts that has nothing to do with the val value or validity of the currency it just has to do with the fact that people are going to commit illegal acts such as buying and selling drugs so again a pretty weak attack against Bitcoin and as I said last night I think the value of Bitcoin going forward is going to be reflected in the price and you can see this is a quite a snapback rally I didn't have time to get into the miners that's what I'm gonna do in my next episode is examine the miners and show you what I've learned about how you can mine and the way you get that software and the difference between CPUs and GPUs and some of that stuff that I'm just learning myself so I'm gonna walk you through step by step of what I did because the biggest challenge for me was actually figuring this stuff out and I work in the networking world for a living I'm not the most sophisticated systems guy but I understand quite a bit and it was difficult for me to get all the details so I'm gonna to try to step by step lay them out for you of what I did and so you can understand that and we'll talk to you next time